Having breakfast burritos in your freezer is great for busy mornings where you don't have a lot of time but still want something healthier to eat. The ingredients for this recipe start with 18 cm or 7 inch wheat tortillas. I have access to protein tortillas that have 128 calories with 7 grams of protein, so if you can find a tortilla with similar macros that would be perfect, if not, then just buy regular wheat tortillas, it would be fine. The next ingredient is yellow onions, followed up by potatoes, whole eggs, deli meat, I will use chicken which is a great protein sauce, and lastly mozzarella cheese. Now, every burrito that you want to meal prep consists of one wheat tortilla, one whole egg, 50 grams of meat, 15 grams of mozzarella cheese, half an onion or about 30 grams, and 100 grams of potatoes. And you multiply these ingredients by the number of burritos that you want to meal prep, I will go for 5. So for that, I will peel 600 grams of potatoes. They will lose about 20 grams of their weight after peeling, so I end up with about 500 grams. You can also use unpeeled potatoes if you like, but I would suggest you peel them and I will show you why in a minute. Once the potatoes are peeled, I will first cut off one slice so I have a stable base, then I will slice them into planks, then into french fries, and lastly, I will turn them and cut them into smaller cubes. Once they are all cut, add them into a microwave safe container and microwave them at 600 watts for about 5 minutes. In the meantime, I will cut 250 grams of deli meat into smaller chunks. Couple of vertical and horizontal cuts are enough. Next is dicing two yellow onions, these weigh about 150 to 200 grams in total. Then place a bowl on a scale and measure 75 grams of mozzarella cheese. This is regular cheese and not the fat free version because I use only 15 grams per burrito, the calorie difference is not a big deal. Then into a bowl, I will crack in 5 whole eggs, 1 per burrito and give them a quick mix with a fork and then it's time to cook. But before that, don't forget to check out my low calorie high protein cookbook that will help you lose weight, stay lean and build muscle. Thousands of people have already already bought this book and it currently sits at 4.9 out of 5 star rating, from breakfast to lunch to dessert, everything you need is in there. And the best part is that I will constantly keep updating the book with new recipes and you will receive all of them for free once you've purchased the book. Link is in the description. Ok, add about 10 grams of oil to a pan on medium heat. Once the potatoes are microwaved, add them in first with a small pinch of salt. I will fry the potatoes, occasionally stirring for about 5-7 to seven minutes, you will see that they will slowly but surely get a crispy exterior. Microwaving them will disrupt the outside of the potato, which will lead to even more crispiness and because I've peeled them, the surface that can become crispy is even bigger. After about 6 minutes, I will make some space, add another 4 grams of oil and now go in with the onions and the meat. Once again keep frying, occasionally stirring, for another 5-7 to seven minutes until the onions slowly become translucent and the meat gets crispy as well. After 15 minutes in total, I will add some spices and here is where you can experiment. I am going with 1 teaspoon of cumin and 1.5 and teaspoons of cayenne pepper. Mix everything and keep toasting the spices for a half a minute or so before adding in the eggs. Keep stirring with the eggs with oil only need about a minute or so until they are fully cooked through. Once they are done, prepare a plate and add everything in. As you can see, there is still a ton of steam coming out. If you wrap them into the burritos right now, the steam will make them soggy. So instead, let them sit here. You can also use a second plate so they cool down a bit faster until there is no steam anymore. In the meantime, I will make a fresh sauce. Into a blender, I will add 10 grams of fresh basil, 10 grams of mint, 15 grams of olive oil, 10 grams of mustard, 10 grams of white vinegar, 200 grams of skewer, you can also use fat free Greek yogurt, 1 clove of garlic, a pinch of salt and freshly ground black pepper. Place it into your blender and mix it for 1 minute until it turns into a green sauce that will add a great freshness to the burrito. I will transfer the sauce into one of these squeeze bottles, they are perfect for these kinds of sauces and you can find them on Amazon. The sauce will last in the fridge for about a week. Ok, once everything is ready, prepare 5 wheat tortillas and now separate the eggs and the potatoes evenly among all 5. I will eyeball this using a scale to make it perfectly even is in my opinion not really needed, as in the end the calories will add up anyway. Then I will add about 5 grams of sauce on top of every tortilla. The sauce has 100 calories per 100 grams, so you have an easier time tracking this. Lastly, I will add the mozzarella cheese on top of everything and then you only need to roll them into a burrito shape. I personally flip the outside towards the middle and then roll the tortilla from the bottom towards the top, that is, at least for me, the easiest way to roll them. Once they are rolled, wrap them in paper towel and then put them in a ziplock bag and they are ready for the freezer. If you want to eat them, simply microwave them for 5 minutes or bake them in the oven for 20 and they are ready. Each one of these burritos come in with 407 calories, 39 grams of carbs, 16 grams of fat and 28 grams of protein. Don't forget to check out my cookbook, click on this video if you want to see how to make chicken fajitas with similar ingredients and see you there.